Bishop Whitehead alleged, because it hasn't been proven, Bishop Whitehead comes from a family of prominent folk. His father was a man of the people. His father was a, a man of uh, a person that provided opportunities. His father was a person who created opportunities. His father was a was a giver. His father was kind. His father was a man that ran the household. So much so that his father passed because of his household. What happened in that circumstance is alleged that his father and his uncle was helping somebody at a wedding. It was some um, refuge in front of the the establishment that they was doing the wedding. And the fuzz came up. It was like, yo, what's this? Right? The uncle was apparently outside. It's the last the uncle was outside, you know, with, you know, trying to clean things up. And the, and the cops was like, yo, you got to get this cleaned up. An argument ensued between the uncle and the cops. So much so that they started to get really close up on him. They came, they got a little close up. They got, they started to get a little physical. Somebody tapped the father on the shoulder. His brother's outside getting accosted by the fuzz. Now, listen, his father was somebody who, who had ties. He had connections. His father was somebody who was known to have a ham on him. Father didn't play. You know, his papa didn't play. Father had the ham on him. So he went outside and was like, what's going on? His uncle drove off. It's alleged his uncle didn't have any documents. His uncle's documents wasn't really together. They pulled him over. The, the cops there told his cops radioed in. Yo, pull him over. You know, check him out. Accordingly, they checked him out. Another another uh, interaction unfolded. The father went to that aid. Now, these people that initially walked, these cops that initially walked up were rookie cops. They didn't know his father. They didn't know the status. They didn't know the figure that they were standing before. They didn't know. So they said, like any other fuzz back in that time, we talking about the 60s, the 70s. Where well, that N word was uh, was said relatively freely. Grabbed them up, pushed them, tugged them, punched them, kicked them, dropped them, and then they put them in a the fade. The father, dope. Excuse me. I, I'm, I'm giving you. I'm, I'm speaking of New York colloquial. They put him in a chokehold, a rear naked chokehold, right? They put him in a rear naked chokehold. They yanked him in a car, and unfortunately, he lost his life. Now, fast forward. Bishop Whitehead comes from several siblings. He comes from a strong mother. He comes from private schooling. He comes from an educated background. He comes as a star athlete, but somehow, some way, he deterred. Somehow, some way, he found himself, you know, living that life. It's alleged. No, it's not even alleged. This man been found guilty. Listen, he and his, it's some paramour of his, they entered into this fraud scheme, whereas what they did was they connected with a lady who worked at a dealership. She was able to get a lot of people who applied for cars, car loans, and get their information, which included their name, social, date of birth, address, all of the stuff you need to apply for something. She, he was able to ascertain all of that. What he was doing as he was convicted, what he was doing was he was then taking that information, applying for other car loans, getting the car loans, and either driving around, trying to sell them, and hocking them around. It didn't, come, it didn't unfold, the scam, the, the fraud didn't unfold when the cars that he got car loans, that he actually got the car, he didn't pay, that the loan defaulted. So when the loans default, what does the bank do? Hey, Joe Blow, you gotta pay that bread. We got, you got our property, we want our money. It's simple as that. It's, 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 it's business, baby, we in America. You took my stuff, I want my stuff. It's just that simple. This particular Joe Blow was an older lady. She said, huh? What? She had her own record style. Huh? What? Who? What? 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 what you talking about? I don't owe you anything. And then an investigation unfolded. In fact, how he got caught, how Bishop specifically got caught, because he was, for some odd reason, I guess he forgot that these cards that he took the fraud, he took the information from, wasn't his. He forgot, he really probably thought it was his. So he was driving around on the motorcycle. He got, he got pulled over. That motorcycle was registered to that particular woman and all she wrote, he got arrested. He got arrested on several counts of fraud and, and grand larceny and he wound up getting convicted. This in time came home. Now listen, that's his past. You know, sometimes we make mistakes. You know, your boy, Mr. CKB, he definitely made a whole lot of mistakes in his life. And sometimes, you know, you you get you get hit, you get caught, you do your time, you come home, and then you you make something of yourself. You reform. And that's what supposedly Bishop was supposed to do out here, right? He was supposedly reformed. Then what happened? Came back. He like, yo, this 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 legal stuff ain't really working right. But listen, let me before he before he came out, he did some stuff while he was in prison. He got educated, he got his master's in theology. I think he was in St. St. Correctional Facility when he did that. 
he wound up actually, he was a part of a program where he was able to interact with certain politicians, i.e. the mayor. Well, he wasn't a mayor then. He was just a regular, uh, I think he was a borough president then. He actually linked up with the mayor while in prison. That's how they started their relationship. That's how they started to get to know each other. When he came home, he was on a cloth path. He was doing his thing, getting donations here, but it really wasn't good enough. So he started to figure out, well, how could I, how could I leverage this? How could I, how could I blow this up? How could I position myself whereas I could live the way I want to live, while at the same time giving whatever message it is that I want to give, you know, everybody's happy. They're getting the word, I'm getting the dollars. Everybody's happy. So then he come up with the bright idea. Yeah, you know what? The people here, they like entertainment. You know, his parishioners, you got to look at his parishioners. The parishioners were people from all over. That's one thing about the church. One thing about the church, they like, yo, listen, come as you are. It doesn't matter how you come. You don't got to be dressed in your best. You don't got to come in a suit and tie. You can come in some daisy dupes if you want to, just as long as you come up in a spot and adhere to the word. Take all, all parishioners. You know, you got to, you know, listen, listen, we know what it is, but the message is what the message was. You come as you are. He kept talking. So he started his parishioners. He started his ministry. He's pushing it. He's going. He's pumping it. He's thinking about how he's going to make money. How is he going to keep his ministry forward? How is he going to actually be the success that he think he's going to be? Or at least he want to be. Really, how is he going to how is he going to clean up this bread? How is he going to clean up these ends that he's doing? But 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 we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. So what does he do? He becomes somebody that people could walk to, people could talk to, people could approach, people could he could possibly resolve something. You know, remember, he's the one, he's the proponent that screams, yo, I got this relationship with the mayor. I'm tied in with the politicians. I'm tied in with the with the clock. He actually ran as to be a bubble president. So, you know, he, he definitely has a little bit of, a little, little, little bit of connections there, right? So one day, somebody get arrested. Actually, excuse me, let me backtrack. Somebody commit a homicide. The Fuzz is looking for that person that committed the homicide. That person's family reached out to Bishop. Bishop, yo, listen, Lil Johnny, he done did some wrong. Lil Johnny needs your help. You said, listen, come as we go, come as we want. You know, you said this. You said, doesn't matter that that Johnny and um is dubbing on a on a um on an ambulance. It doesn't matter that little Johnny and um is is you know, twerking on Evelyn. It doesn't matter if Lil Johnny is about to throw this football. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how inappropriate this is, how inappropriate this is. It doesn't matter that Lil Johnny appears doesn't have any morals. It doesn't matter that Lil Johnny's girl is doing some more twerking on top of the ambulance. None of that matters. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. What matters is he needs a fair shot. What matters is he needs to be given an opportunity without getting hurt. Yes, he's been accused of some heinous stuff, but you know, we need your help. We need your help, Bishop. Come through, baby, we need your help. So Bishop was like, all right, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? He makes a phone call. He calls the mayor, he calls the mayor. So I got this guy who's uh, wanted for this homie. I need your help, bro. I need your help, bro. So Bishop essentially arranges uh, a, him, the guy to tell, turn himself in, right? It doesn't work out as his plan, but needless to say, Bishop was the first, he was able to get that five minutes of fame. Bishop had that Gucci on, Bishop had that Fendi on. You know, Bishop, come, he comes clean. That boy Bishop, he comes clean, he dress, he dresses to impress, he dressed for success. You know what that's, he dresses for success. So he was dressed up in his finest digs, and when a debacle happened, what did the fuss says? Oh, it's his fault. And when they said his fault, the cameras went on the bishop. And when the cameras went on the bishop, what do they see? They see this bishop in Fendi. They see bishop in the Prada. They see bishop in the Gucci. And then hence, blame bishop.